Well, it is, in a way of speaking, a tale of two stories for many of our restaurants across southwest Virginia uh, living in this new coronavirus environment. You may have noticed some of your favorite restaurants have decided to shut down in the past few days after initially staying open. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us the difficult decision that owners are being forced to make. When the coronavirus restrictions came out, our area restaurants were forced to make a change in just a few hours. They had to reinvent nearly their entire business. Many went back to the basics, doing things like flyers on a pizza box or food specials. But even at that, they're still struggling to stay afloat. And as the days go on, many more are beginning to sink underwater. Some restaurant kitchens are still cooking amid the coronavirus shutdown, but the changes are coming at them faster and orders on a busy Friday night. In the restaurant world, it's kind of like the wild, wild west. Like um, every day we have to be innovative. Tonight is burger night, so we're doing features on burgers. The to-go only model at Food Fanatics Kitchen in Roanoke is barely working. According to manager Jerry Smith, they found success in things like signs, flyers, and email blasts to stay afloat. Barely in the black, you know, like um, we're, we're right on that fence. Um, so, you know, like that's the reason we're just being very aggressive with the type of uh, old school marketing we're doing. Once the dining room closed, it was pretty much done deal. Michelle Barlow owns the salad factory just a few blocks away. Her doors are closed. The lights are off. The note in the window signed with a heart. We noticed a drop in sales starting March 11th. AEP started laying off. We noticed it immediately. And then it just got worse from there. For them and some other restaurants, it became clear after just two or so weeks the to-go model wouldn't work. Sales were down 90% and you have to know when to call it quits. We're doing losing much less money by being closed. Back at Food Fanatics, allowing mixed drinks to go has helped the bottom line. They're doing their own deliveries and treading water like crazy. We were a little concerned on, you know, um, how well it was going to take off. But right now we're able to keep um, all of our employees on staff. There's also a smaller number of restaurants that are shutting down their doors completely for a different reason, and that's the virus itself. Some have had employees that have been exposed to the virus and other business owners just don't feel it's safe for their employees to be working in these conditions and want them to be at home. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.